headlines coming out of Fashion Week. There was a beautiful moment, Billy, with Beverly Johnson. It's been almost 50 years since she was the first black woman ever on the cover of Vogue, and she closed the Bebo runway show. Well, this is wonderful. All of the models were models of color in honor of Black History Month. And you're gonna make me cry right now. It was, it was a moment. I'm gonna tell you two trends that will never make it off the runway. Pants tucked into sandals, and the other is tight with sandals. It's a fever dream of label lust in New York. Retro romance vibes courtesy of Badgley Mishka. We weren't afraid of a grand gesture this season. Carolina Herrera's runway is Oscar ready. Bursts of exuberance and flamboyance and ruffle. And Laquan Smith made a bold move and headlines opening his show with Kanye's ex, Julia Fox. It's all about being the center of attention. And our Adam Glassman was there for all of New York Fashion Week. So are the stars, including Blake Lively, Lori Harvey, Olivia Culpo, and Katie Holmes. It's fun and inspiring to be around creating and sexier necklines and hemlines are trending for fall 2022 i've played with a lot of shapes i've played with a lot of textures kardashian favorite designer laquan smith brought the major cutouts designer jonathan simkai embellished his at his preview your cutouts are always so beautifully placed strategically placed i think it's about finding the area of the woman's body that uh, she feels comfortable to show and how do you describe the simkai woman I think it's all about, uh, like, just juxtaposition, something that's soft, but then also structured and powerful and cool. How about a cool new way to wear pants? Tucking a wide leg pant into a strappy sandal to really create a beautiful silhouette. Fall fashion trick at Carolina Herrera. Turn the dress volume way, way up. In order to really pull off successfully the drama and the volume. Creative director Wes Gordon, who took the reins from founder and global brand ambassador Carolina, has the perfect princess dress for this Oscar Best Actress nominee. Kristen Stewart was like, I think, beautiful in the second to last look that was blush pink silk file with four tiers of tool coming up behind it. Retro and romantic silhouettes were the focus for Mark and James of Badgley, Michigan. Kind of taking the 50s couture, post-war kind of stuff and making it, looking at it through a 1980s lens. The tights with sandals trend will be big. So will exaggerated necklines and power one shoulder gowns. My favorite, I think, is the olive green have a sequin bodice. And they have this fashion forecast for the Oscars. It's going to be beautiful, sophisticated colors, mm -hmm. unique combinations that are not so expected. Lots of glamour, lots of color. Girl, please, can't wait to see it all.